Occasionally you'll come across a picture that's just so badly worn or torn or things smeared or written on that there's no way to display them nicely. Um, in this case there's a picture of my grandfather that we came across and it's one of the rare pictures of my grandfather. So what I want to do is I want to start by using my select tool, my, my rectangular marquee, and I'm going to drag an area around the couple. This will give me less area to have to correct. And I'm going to do image crop. Okay. And then what I think I'll do here, because there's all kinds of color things, and it's kind of a hand colored picture anyway, I'm going to go image mode grayscale. Okay. And that will help me to define my areas a little better. I'm going to go image adjust auto contrast which makes it a little bit more defined and I'm going to go image adjust levels and I'm going to drag my black to the very beginning of the little curve and I'm going to drag my white to the beginning of the other curve maybe a little bit less than that and I'll do okay alright so what I have here now is some picture that I need to fix. I'm going to use my rubber stamp tool here and I'm going to select a larger brush like maybe that size and I'm going to click up here in the corner and I'm going to start painting over here. So basically what I'm painting scratches and all. Oops, you'll see I got a little bit of a shoulder in there and I can fix that. All right, now Click this and fix that here. Click it again. You'll see I do this a lot. And I painted out basically all of these problem areas. I'm gonna I'm basically painting out that stick that let me undo here so you can see the stick. I'm gonna paint that stick out of the way. So I just completely removed an item that was back there. Alright. Now if you have something and you want to get a little bit more defined, like the hair area, you can use the zoom tool right here to drag and zoom. And we can zoom even farther if we'd like. You can see that the picture was seriously damaged. And I can use the rubber stamp tool here as well. I'll use a smaller brush. So I can pick areas of the hair, for example, and then just paint across that way so that I'm actually painting with hair even though in this case it's it's very dark and it's difficult to see the hair texture now it's not perfect um, but sometimes it's the best you can do alright let me go over to my grandfather's side here we use the spacebar and drag I can fix his hair This is also a good way to remove gray hair and wrinkles if you'd like to do that to your own picture. And if I zoom and do view fit on screen, this is kind of the picture I have now. And the picture that I had in the beginning looked like this. Alright, so you can see it's quite a difference. Let me go back to the one we have now. It looks like that.